Hello and welcome back everyone. The name's Gahan to the game's Pokemon Duel. How everybody doing? Was your weekend okay? Well, enjoy your new month and enjoy your new week. And as always, I gotta get to work. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Let's let's do this video first and then and then I move to work. As uh, as of right now, there's been a, the update, there's been a new banner dropping down. I did have a little uh, glance on it. I'm pretty sure you all can read, so we're just gonna run through over it because the Pokemon are uh, are amazing. And I need a little bit of explanation because I read the banner myself and I'm not getting it completely. So new plates, new plate EX poison plate is appearing, which is gonna give your steel type white attacks the effect of poison. So basically I love my Heatran. I will do steel energy, then maybe use this uh, poison blade. And my Heatran will make everybody poisonous by just attacking them, which is amazing. New uh, figures, Solgaleo, Tapulele, Cosmo, Cosmo AM, and Espion appearing in in this banner, which I'm pretty excited. Not too excited, but pretty excited. Tentupel coming back. Silver Moon Hall with giving uh, Carmonite per 5 Carmonite per win for 5 wins. Not bad at all. Yesterday I played about 20 games and I like lost 15 or 13. Uh, pretty bad, if you ask me. But uh, let's see the boosters. What do we have in the boosters? There's the... I exchanged loyalty exclusive rewards. I got a Zabdas. I'm sorry I didn't record this. This was like, I want to press this and whatever not. Then I opened a timed booster, a gold one, and I got a Raikou and a Zygarde from one booster. And I'm like... Duck, duck, duck. I didn't even realize because it was like kind of in the background, you know, and I was like tapping whatever not on the phone because it was concentrated on something else. And then I just watched my figures and I'm like, what happened here? And then also the uh, the booster on the top of your corner, you know, the one you have uh, after getting the tickets, keys, whatever not, gave me a Metagross. <laughs> I have another Metagross. I will fuse it probably because Metagross is also getting a buff here. So we're going to see the banner here, which is having Solgali, Chapel Lily, Cosmo, Gaspion, and a, a, a lot of other things that have been already buffed. So Metagross being buffed to have 100 on the both sides, which if you have one chain level each, you can... Uh, Make it equal to the uh, Soj people. Guard of War has the buff right about now. Super Sai and Moonblast. When Evolved is going to be 110 in the Warp Hole. Very much worth it right about now to put your Curly on your deck. Mewtwo. Destroyer and Protector. I'll, I love this. Mewtwo got the Psycho Cut like Malamar has with the Spinner of 40 on Evolved. And then it also has the Psychic Shove and Annihilate. Psychic Shove is 32, Annihilate is saying. I think it's 12 or 16 or whatever not. But uh, Annihilate now teleports it two steps away. Blue teleport. This is the buff Mewtwo was needing. And Psychic Shove still the ability that will knock the shit out of people who doubles around your goal. Knock the shit out of people if you put it on the enemy entry and you just push them away, swash them away or whatever not. Mega Gengar available again. Oricorio. Uh, when this Pokemon is on the field, your Psychic type Pokemon deal plus one damage for each Psychic type Pokemon on the field. This is actually a great addition to the Deox decks because Deox needs some sea levels, and um, this is <laughs> a way to give it to them. Air Cutter, Alluring Dance. The battle opponent and opposing Pokemon adjacent it becomes confused. Okay, that is kind of okay. There we go. Iglybuff. Iglybuff is a uh, the battle opponent's full of sleep and a pound of thirty. If a Pokemon finishes an MP move next to this Pokemon, this Pokemon moves one space away. <laughs> Pretty scary. <laughs> so, is Espeon. Behavior prediction. This Pokemon gains plus one star. Okay. And the magic code. If a battle opponent uses an attack that attaches a marker or causes a special condition, this effect will be caused on the battle opponent instead. Psybeam. If this Pokemon is knocked out, the battle opponent becomes confused. That's kind of awesome. Is Espeon. Finally, the last evolution. I definitely want to put this in the collection of EVs. Cosmo EM. Cosmo M or Cosmo EM. I don't know how to call it. Psychic Core. This Pokemon cannot be surrounded by your opponent's Pokemon. If this Pokemon surrounds an opponent's Pokemon, it... What? <laughs> this Pokemon may evolve. While this Pokemon is on the field, effects of energy plays are negated. Oh, wow. If it surrounds somebody, what? If you long throw this guy, if you long throw this guy, it will surround, right? But it cannot be surrounded itself. But it has only one MP, which 
kind of equalizes the ability because surround with one MP is almost impossible and you can't pass through other Pokemon because with only one MP. Okay, that is not that is not as OP as it <laughs> seemed at the first uh, look, but there's a cosmic power. While this Pokemon is on the field, the Pokemon gain... Oh, wait a minute. While this Pokemon is on the field, this Pokemon is plus one star. Okay, the, effects, the effect is not cumulative, cumulative. And to teleport, this Pokemon moves two steps away. So this is basically a great defender, Cosmoem, because it has a huge-ass teleport. It doesn't need to move, it just teleports away. The Cosmic Power will um, give him plus one star. Pretty amazing. 10 damage to pretty much negate the counter of Deoxys A. Uh, sorry, D. Deoxys D. And the teleport that will take it to the enemy goal if needed. Pretty darn amazing. I love this because at level 10, the miss goes away completely. And then you, uh, you take the splash of the other side, you know, the 12th splash. You make it a 4 splash or you make that... Splash, four splash. And you're about that done. Because then Poliwhirl cannot kill you. Only confusion is... is Only this Pokemon will be successful to confusion. But uh, I don't think it's it's that bad. I'm pretty pretty stoked about Cosmo, Cosmo M. It's another counter to Deoxys. Because Cosmo Energy will not be effective. Pretty darn awesome. This Pokemon cannot surround the opponent's Pokemon. And cannot be surrounded itself. It can also move through other Pokemon's when making an MP move. Okay, that is awesome. And then we have... Uh, Nebby's power, you may move one of your Solgali or Lunala next to this Pokemon. If you do, this Pokemon evolves. If it cannot evolve, the Pokemon is knocked out. Oh, so if you don't evolve it, if you do move the other guys, then it's knocked out. But the thing is, if you don't have any of the other guys, I don't know. Teleport, huge ass teleport, 32 segments. This Pokemon moves two steps away. Oh, the, 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 the purple is so heavy with this banner. Tapu Lele, the most interesting Tapu, in my opinion, but not in this game, probably. Psychic and Fairy, Psychic Surge, the ability is only valid on your turn. This Pokemon can MP move past non-Fairy type Pokemon on the field. When the Pokemon is on the field, your Psychic type Pokemon gain plus one star. This effect is not cumulative. The gold attacks of Pokemon within two steps of this Pokemon become wet attacks. Nullifies Zadros much? This is a great addition to, uh, to Dex Dex again. And you see, you always say, hey, stop complaining about Dex being overpowered, whatever that. The thing is, Dex, right about now, with the Cosmo Energy, do have a lot of counters, okay? But when you're making a deck, are you always making it to fight a Dex, right? Isn't that the case? Like, hey, I'm going to put up a Tropical Energy because it counters Dex. I'm going to put a, this type of uh, deck because it counters Dex. I'm going to put my Phantom in the deck because it counters Dex. That's your thinking right about now. You shouldn't be thinking like it. I should be thinking, hey, I'm going to put this Pokemon because I like it. It's cool, you know? And this one buffs the Dex in a way. In a way. Because gold attacks become white attacks within two steps. You set it up next to or between <laughs> your uh, double your double um, Dex D, right? Like the, the uh, what do you call it? The Sodge guy, the uh, Kabalian. You set this little trap with the two dogs, and you're like, okay, you can't kill me. Can't kill me, no. <laughs> Pretty freaking stupid. Then the 99 Moon Blast, which actually actually counters the other Tapu by, uh, and me, of course, by having exactly the damage, the maximum damage the other Tapu can do. Pretty darn okay. And a Kala Wish. You may exclude this Pokemon from the duel if you do. Your used plates all return to their unused state. Oh, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know if anybody else is ever going to do this Akala Wish. Unless they're like already in the super lead and whatever not. And they're like one hurdle jump away to win. And then we go the uh, full metal body Psychic Steel Solgaleo. The battle opponent of this Pokemon cannot move by effects of other than the attacks of this Pokemon until the end of the battle. If this Pokemon is affected by a... Not affected by a special condition. Markers from the attacks of the battle opponent cannot be attached to this Pokemon. I don't understand this. Please leave it down in the comments if you do. Because this is not making any sense to me. And then we have Sunsteel Strike. Moves the battle opponent to the PC. The battle opponent is not knocked out. Which is okay. I don't know if, we, if you lose the duel. Does it go to the PC? If it, I don't know. 
I don't know. It moves it to the PC. It's like the Cyclone Kick, but a wide attack. Flare Blitz, if this Pokemon is knocked out, the battle opponent becomes burned. That's awesome. With the two evolutions, which you probably will be running at it, it's a 140 and 120. Pretty darn cool. And you can also attach the Steel Plate to it, and you're golden. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be crafting any one of these. I'm going to be opening just my uh, free boosters. Because the banner doesn't seem so OP. I would like some chain levels on my Mewtwo. That's about all I would like. And uh, and maybe pull something from the old EXs or whatever not. That are on the Tentupul. Nothing interesting. Oh, okay. By the way, this guy is going to be getting the 3-star purple too. So Psychic Teams... Beside ducks are currently are currently being OP, buffed or whatever not. With the Tapu Lele thing. Okay, another blue, another wow, Gothic Tal. So the square attack would be if you evolve it from like, at least the second evolution would be would be a three star and then maybe four star. Hmm. Interesting, Gothic Tell. I only seen one victory of Gothic Tell teleporting in somebody's goal. It was pretty epic. I wanted to do it for so long, but I could never set it up properly. Another blue Inkay. Okay. So maybe a high chance we get a Malamar? Or is this Malamar not on this banner? I'm not sad. I'm not sad by a long shot. Let's see. Come on, go gold. Nope. We're gonna get the full line of Gothic Tell today. What the hell? I'm thoughtful about uh, not opening any Tentuples if this is gonna continue. But it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Let's see. Okay, finally a gold. Rare at least. Ooh, nice! Cosmoem, Cosmoem, whatever, man. I don't know how you call it. So this is the one MP that has a lot of teleport. If this Pokemon surrounds, I'm probably going to be using it. I'm probably going to be using it because Cosmo Energy is, like, annoying me super much. Not Deoxys, Cosmo Energy, okay? The plate is annoying. I don't care about Deoxys. Deoxys, you can counter it. You can counter it with Metagross. You can counter it with attacking by Zabdas, whatever not. But the fucking Cosmo Energy, it just gets me. That's about it. Okay, another gold. EX. Ooh, nice. Tapu Lele. Oh, so mo. Tapu Lele. It has two MP though. I didn't notice that in the first place. Ooh, awesome. The effects of it, I love it. The little uh, purple pink strip. Awesome. Got the Tapu Lele. Got one of the OP. Not OP, but one of the. Rec not rec yeah, one of the booster mons, okay? One of the EX booster mons. If I also pull this little Galio, I'm gonna save my jabs for for the future banner. Okay, a blue. I'm not gonna get gold. Skip. Okay, bronze or the Bronzog got uh, buffed its evolution. I think this Pokemon is the most OP Pokemon for a gym anyway, because it stops the three MP in their trucks. Which is awesome. Unless the 3 MP has a lot of Dodger Purple, which then it's not so awesome, but okay. Um, there we go. Another one. Blue. Okay, the Reuniclus Bubble. First evolution. Reuniclus, by the way, in this gym could be potentially dead, dangerous and scary. A Confuse Ray. A Confuse Ray. I might pull out my Ray Nicholas on the gym. They've been long forgotten. Okay, okay, this is also a nice Pokemon. The whole line of this Pokemon is pretty nice. Ghost Sensor. <clears throat> Ghost cannot pass. Then you get the Imprison. The Imprison is such an amazing ability. Dax Ace pins his uh, Psycho Boost on your Imprison and boom. <laughs> Unavailable to use again. Until it dies or whatever not. Pretty awesome. Blue again. Not interesting. This is also psychic, by the way. With uh, protection. Data has updated. Downloaded. What? I have updated my data. What do you mean? Get out of here, game. 
sorry about that, but there was probably a hot fix about something. They probably fucked something up and realized they fucked something up and they fixed it. And the game just crashed, updated itself real fast, and uh, we're right back at it. Continuing to pop the boosters. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna pop another one. I'm just popping now for, I don't know what, because I have the single boosters. I don't really need any of the Pokemon here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Mewtwo <coughs> for the chain levels of the Psycho Cut, most likely. There's gonna be another, okay, the line of Gothic Tell, Gothrida, whatever. Don't care too much about it. But gonna be popping it nonetheless. Another blue. Okay, Kuna. Haha. <laughs> not funny. But I'm not complaining about anything. We get what we get, it's totally fine. You know, we're, we should be happy about it. Loyalty reward, by the way, if you do get the... If you're in Europe, it's a 106 bucks deal. Gets you a lot of uh, gold, and uh, those guys... Okay, we get the the other thing. A Ricario Pau style. Uh... <clears throat> It allows those guys who do pay for for the game to get a lot of uh, credits, like money, this coins thing, right? It allows people to get the coins, and coins are the thing that you need if you spend enough money in the game, because you do get the, 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 the figures, but you want to evolve them or whatever, not, you know, give them levels. Another layer rare at least. Another Gothic Tell. Getting tired. Out of the 15 boosters, three Gothic Tells. That is like one fifth, right? It's like 20% Gothic Tells <laughs> from a single opening. 20% Gothic Tells. What is the, the percentage of that? It's gonna be another blue. Not so exciting. Okay, in K. It, it kind of repeated Gothic Tell, in K, blah, blah, blah. So let's go for the tan tuple right about here. Open one of those. I wouldn't buy some chain levels on my uh, EXs or, uh, you know, UX, whatever it is I get. I'm going to be stoked about it. Uh, I already finished the Zabda, so I don't need any more Zabdas's, but Muse. Muse I wouldn't uh, complain about, so it's going to be a blue. Okay. Mm, not bad. Another blue. Okay, that was a sad one. <laughs> a third blue. This is not going well. Duosian. Okay, the gold. There we go. Now we're talking. Something at least rare. Hmm. Munchlax. I don't even have the Snorlax, but I like that guy. Okay, one more blue. God dang it, man. Come on. Okay. One more in K. To the pile. The gold. Come on, come on, come on. It's gonna be at least a rare. Espeon. Great, don't have the Espeon. But the godly unlocks that Phantom is doing with 7 EX UX, okay? With 7 EXs in one banner, just... Nice. I needed that chain level. Mega Genga. And another gold. Rare at least. Another Smooch Lux. So what I was saying is like the godly openings that Phantom does, opening like seven EXs in one ten tuple. Another UX, what the fuck? Another Mega Gengar, two chain levels in one opening. Oh my god. And then concentrated fertilizer, swap spot, burn hill. Awesome stuff, two UX, no EX at all, and three rare. I can't say this is bad. I just can't say this is bad. It's not great, but the two chain levels will negate the uh, killing potential of the chain levels uh, on uh, Sceptiles and chain levels on uh, Evolved Blaziken in this uh, in this scenario. I like this. Okay, let's do another Tentuple. And that is probably going to end the video afterwards. Bronzor, okay. What do we get here? Mm, not exciting. Oh, Bulbasaur, okay. I like the starter Pokemon. I take Bulbasaur. A bit bug thing. Okay, gold. That's exciting. EX. EX. There we go. Genesect. Another chain level on my Genestriking Genestriker. Awesome. Awesome. Blue again. Bronzong. 
Rebuffed Bronzong. Okay, another gold. Another EX. Let me see that. Seismitoad or Seismitoad. Love it. Seismitoad because in Greek, the earthquake is Seismos. So for me, it's Seismitoad. Like another gold. Another EX. Oh my god, this is turning out to be OP. Lugia. Not something I like, but something I would definitely keep in my uh, my box or whatever not. <laughs> Tempo, this is a sad Pokemon. Another gold? Come on. Another EX. Oh my god, four EXs. Malamar. Perfect. I love Malamar. Not using it so often, I have to. But wow. Okay. This, this, this is epic. Four EXs. Four EXs. One, two, three, four. Perfect stuff. This X speed also, hurdle jump, what else was there? And two, two X speed. I'm really tempted to do one more. Let's, let's do one more because I just like this one so much. Let's do one more and then, then we're done. Wow, wow, loved it. Or maybe should I do like, this is 15 plus, oh, 15 plus, no. This is 30 plus 15, it's 45. Maybe I do five more just to make it like a complete 50 booster opening. And then we're gonna, we're gonna start with a gold. Rare at least. Okay, Crobat. I like Crobat. Crobat is a thing. Poison deck's pretty OP. There we go. What is this? Okay. Not a big fan of that Pokemon. Mm, blue again. Was that Coffin or the other guy? The other guy, probably. Another blue. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Did I just waste gems? Because this is feeling like way so far. Diozen again. Give me some gold. It's like the fifth already. Poppy Toad. Mm. I never seen anybody evolve the Sismi Toad. Okay, there we go. Any X. Hopefully not the guaranteed. Latios. Hmm. Skeptic about it because I don't really like the Latios Latias. I was really uh, hoping that the Eon Fluid that came in would be a little bit more of a plate than it is. Now it's kind of useless and... If I get only the, the Latios from this opening, I'm gonna be sad. It's gonna turn the tone down a lot. Okay, another EX. This is probably the guaranteed one because this is the last one. Awesome, Ante! I don't have an Ante! Wow, now I love it. <laughs> okay, this, this was worth it because I don't have an Ante. This was worth it. Paralyze Antidote and Swap Spot. Okay, awesome. I don't have Ante. Not excited about it because as I said, I don't have, I, I, just two EX from Tentuple, you know, but I don't have Ante. Oh, and Pokefwater is running Ante like crazy, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it work too. The 120s. And plus the 3 MP in the beginning of the, of its turn. Pretty good. Can get surround kills or whatever now. I'm going to open it to quad, quadruple, just to make it a 50 booster opening. Just to make it a 50 booster opening. Going to do it like this. Okay, uh, three uncommons and one what begins with me? Uh, rare. Dang it, man. Ring it. <laughs> what? I don't want to read Nicholas, bro. I don't want to read Nicholas. And one of these. And one of these, and we're done. But wow. Four, six, EX, two, uh, e UX. 6ex to ux. Nothing interesting in this. Haunter, okay. So we're gonna go on to lead, I think, yeah. Need to accept all my rewards. Need to accept all these guys. By the way, this is the team I'm running. It's pretty OP right about here. Like it. 29 Pokemon, 30 Pokemon, 50, 50 unlocked boosters. Gonna be expanding my disc case, whatever not. And uh, now that I currently collect all the Pokemon that, I, that are available, I have very few that I don't have. And those are the um, Mega Charizards. Both of them I don't have either. It's the Garchomp, which I always wanted even after the buff and I still haven't gotten it. And um, maybe I craft something of those maybe i don't maybe i wait for the next next banner but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be holding my gems for the next next banner for the next banner not this one because this one is the 
currently next banner, but whatever, you understand what I'm saying. Expanding my disc case, a lot of Pokemon. I don't know why I'm hoarding up with the low tier Pokemon. I'm probably, I, I'm just hoarding up with three Pokemon each right about here. I should probably not and just sea level the shit out of one of them and let them be because I'm not sure the commons or uncommons are ever going to be relevant in any way possible, but whatever, you know. Oh, and I also pulled a Tapu Koko from a single booster. I posted a screenshot of that on my Discord. <clears throat> and this is basically the Pokemon we got. We got this, uh, a lot of Gothitelles, Gothritas, blah, blah, blah. One EX, oh, wait a minute, one rare Espeon. The EX Genesect, EX Lugia, Sismitoad, Malamar. Then uh, more EX would be Latios, the, uh, this Entei guy. And that's about it. UX got the Mega Gengar twice which I will be fusing in my in my other Mega Gengar and gonna make it OP. In any case, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy openings like this, put a thumbs up under the video. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.